Ilford have obviously done very well. You know, we're competing against some very big clubs in the area. Um, I think that we've achieved this just because of the dedication of the coaches that we have here, the talent that is out there. Ilford has always generated talented athletes from when even our, when I was a kid. We've got a number of 14, 15 year olds, three or four of them, that are pushing themselves on to more success. They're breaking PBs, they're, being, they're winning county championships. Think about your arms. Aaron, arms. Ryan, you're going across your body. Arms, straight. Run. That's it, that's better, Ryan. My name's Wayne Hick. Um, I'm one of the coaches here at Ilford AC. I'm 53 years of age. I've been a member of Ilford since the age of 10. When I was a junior, I was ranked number one in the country, over 400 hurdles, and I came second in the British Championships. Okay, guys, we've got three, three times 700 today. Okay, we're about eight minutes recovery. It's going to be hard. But I want you to push yourself as hard as you possibly can. Go! Oh, was it on 152, which is good. With the coaching that we're able to provide, we are developing in these kids to perform winning county championships, being ranked in the country, and I think that this will continue. We just need to get that talent. There's so many schools around this area and we need to get to those kids to get them down here and we will even grow even better than we are today. I always think if you can maintain three three times the same kind of times that's, that's very good. I see the potential being enormous. You know, we, we, we can give our experience and our, our sort of know-how of athletics to these kids. We set training sessions um, based on, you know, what we think that they can do. This, this is a more strength in preparation for the Essex schools, really, sort of building some strength. Um, we'll probably do some speed sessions in the next um, week or so. Because uh, the Essex scores is, is two weeks away. So, this is trying to maintain the same kind of pace, doing three 700s at the same pace to build that strength up from. They started well. Okay, guys, okay. we've got four minutes. Let's make sure that we maintain the form, the running style, and let's make sure that we run the same kind of pace we did there. I know it's going to hurt, but you know, no pain without gain, yeah? Let's make sure we do this, yeah? Go! Go Jack, let's work Jack, come on all the way through the line. 159, come on go. 202, come on guys. Last round of the day, let's make it, it's the best one. Oh, I don't think I can do it. No, you can do a 400, we won't just do it. I don't want any of this pretend hamstrings and all that, I want you to finish it. 90 seconds, last run, same times. Let's push ourselves. Go! Good. 59, 60. Come on, Jack. Let's go, Jack. Go! 
149, 150. Come on, Jack. Come on, right through the line. Come on. Let's break two minutes. Come on, come on, come on. 158, 159. Come on, guys. Good. It's good. 204, 205. <laughs> We focus really about them enjoying it. They've got to come down here and enjoy athletics. You need much more than just being a natural ability. You need dedication, you need hard work, you need parental support. You need lots of things to be a successful athlete. I want to give something back um, to the Ilford athletes. I look back and think how much time and effort these coaches must have given up for me. I didn't realize it at the time. I want all my athletes to do personal bests, be ranked in the, in the top 10 in the country. I also get a lot out of a child coming down here who is quite shy and then within a few weeks is integrating the group. I actually get quite a lot out of that because you're maybe changing somebody's life.